Welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. In Linux world, we are using a term called shell or terminal, which is basically used for executing the commands. For example, this is the terminal, but why don't we use the terminal inside of a browser or is there any way to use inside of a browser? Of course, there is a way. There is a tool called PHP shell which allows you to use the terminal instead of a browser. In this video, I am going to show you how to install and use PHP shell for executing the commands instead of a browser. Before installing PHP shell in your system, you need to install Apache and PHP. Before going to install any package, log in as root, type sudo space hyphen s and enter. Now type your password. Now enter. Now run the following command to install the Apache and PHP. Before installing Apache and PHP packages, update your repositories by typing apt hyphen get space update and hit enter. Now the repository is updated. After updating the repositories, run the following command to install the Apache and PHP packages. apt get space install space apache2 space php5 space php5 hyphen mysql and hit enter now it will ask you for the confirmation press y and hit enter now the packages is downloading this command is for debian based distributions only if you are using centos you can use m command to install the packages and the package name may be slightly different for CentOS. Now the packages is installed. Now restart the Apache service by running the command service space Apache 2 space restart and hit enter. Next we are going to download the package for PHP shell. For that you can open your browser and go to the link for downloading the PHP shell or else you can copy the link and use duplicate command. Now open your browser. Now go to this link. Here download the PHP shell package. Click here to download. Now click save file. Now the package is downloaded. Now close your browser and move to the download directory cd space downloads and hit enter. Here you can see this is the php shell package which is in zip format. Now unzip this by using unzip command type unzip space file name and hit enter now this package is extracted now type ls and enter here a new directory is created in the name of php shell now we need to copy this directory to the document root directory for apache now type the following command cp space this directory name and space slash var slash www slash html this is the default document root for apache now we turn the here we need to mention hyphen r to copy all the contents inside this directory 
now hit enter now the directory is copied to document root directory now move to this directory path cd space slash var slash www slash html here we have copied the directory to this location now rename this directory if you want i will rename it as phpshell so type mv space directory name space and new directory name php shell and hit enter now type ls and enter now the name is changed to php shell now move to this directory cd space php shell and hit enter here type ls and enter here there is a file called php shell.php now we need to rename it as index.php for that type the command mv space php shell.php space index.php and hit enter now type ls and enter here the name is changed to index.php now open your browser here type the following url 127.0.0.1 slash php shell this is the directory name located under the document root slash var slash www slash html slash php shell now hit enter this will open the php shell login page we have not created any user for php shell login to create a user for php shell login now click here and type pw hash dot php now point to this url now hit enter here we can create the user for php shell login now type the username and the password and click update now we need to copy this line and paste it into the file called config.php now copy this now open your terminal here there is a file called config.php now open it vim space config.php and hit enter now come down in this user section we need to add that line paste that line here and save the file now open the browser go to the php shell login page here type the username we have created and the password and click login here you can see we have logged into the php shell here we can execute the command as same like we are using in terminal we can use all commands here here type ls and click execute command here the command is executed this is the output 
no type pwd execute command by the same way you can able to run any command Here you can see you can execute any command as like you are executing in terminal so this is how we can use the terminal inside a web browser by using php shell hope this video is helpful for you thank you for watching